Hi, and welcome to a demonstration of the vSAN Performance Diagnostic Service. My name is John Nicholson. The first thing you can see is that I have four hosts, each with one disk group configured currently. The next thing we're going to look at is make sure the Customer Experience Improvement Program has been enabled that is required to use this feature. Next up, we also need to make sure the performance service is turned on. For benchmarking, we are going to use HCI Bench. This is a free tool that's available on the VMware Flings website. We're going to start with a very basic light load. Single VM, not a lot of threads. Once we kick off the benchmark, you'll be able to go into the performance diagnostic section and notice that beyond the existing time range selection, you'll actually see the benchmark run that we specified show up as an option in the time range dropdown. Now the first thing you'll select here is your benchmarking goal, throughput, IOPS, or latency, and we decide what we're going to improve. Now we're going to compare that against that benchmarking time run and show the results. And the results we can see some improvements that are suggested. The first result we can see is that one or more disk groups are not active, so it looks like we're not using all of the capabilities of our environment. As we click into these disk groups, we can actually look at the exact performance metrics, and we can even look and drill down using the performance service and use the vSAN disk groups, and again that time range from our benchmark appears, and as we refresh we can actually see what the actual load was like on those disk groups. See, in this case, that looks like they weren't being used. We also have the option when we go back to be able to select the Ask VMware button in regards to this result that was recommended. And so what's interesting is this, you click here, it'll actually direct you to a KB that'll actually explain in more detail how to resolve this issue. In this case, you know, if you want to increase the number of VM decays or VMs, this can actually improve the benchmark output. Now in this case, we're going to increase the number of stripes on our object. Since we've got a lot of disks, we saw we had seven disks, we're going to increase it to seven. And so this means our, our VD bench that's test, since our HCI bench, it's only creating one VM, it's going to span and actually use a lot more disks. Now, when we run this benchmark again, we get a different result. This time we see that the outstanding IOs for the benchmark might not be optimal to achieve the desired goal. Now, for a little more clarity on what this means, let's take a look at the KB. By looking at the KB, we can see that depending on whether we're going for maximum IOPS or maximum latency, there's different recommendations in terms of the amount of IO we should have. So let's alter our benchmark run to adjust for this. Now, to increase the amount of outstanding I.O., we're going to go back to the HCI bench and we're going to change some parameters. We're going to increase the amount of threads, we're going to increase the amount of VMs running, we're going to increase um, the working set size, we're going to do a lot of things just to increase load so we can really try to generate some more IOPS. And also extend the length of the time to make sure we're saturating cache and buffers and things like that and really making sure we're, we're, we're burning the system in. Also note with HCI bench, you can save a benchmarking type in terms of block size and all these settings we've set as well as call up previous ones. This is a great way to make sure you're doing consistent testing with HCI Bench. Next up, you can see we're gonna kick this test off and we're gonna see what it does. The first thing you'll notice in the vSER UI is all the extra workers, all the extra VMs that have been created. Now it's important to note that the show results button here, it's actually leveraging the vSAN performance service, the data that's collected there, as well as that customer experience improvement program to phone that data home and have it actually analyzed by VMware. And this is something that we'll be continuously updating and improving in the back end in terms of our recommendations, much like how we use the online health check to push new recommendations into your environment. Increasingly, vSAN is becoming cloud connected from an analytics bit. We can now see that after making the recommended changes that we are now maximizing our IOPS and there are no further recommendations to change on the benchmark to improve the amount of IOPS. Now we can also go check throughput as well as latency. 
Looking at all of our benchmark runs, we can make sure that we're achieving the different goals that we are planning to. And we notice that with minimum latency, it actually wants to see a lower outstanding I.O. So we're going to go back to that earlier benchmark run where we weren't trying to purposely saturate the back end of the storage. And as we can see there, it's passed. The goal of this, again, is to show how to optimize your benchmarking so that way you're actually testing things that are meaningful as well as provide recommendations when you're benchmarking, particularly with HCI Bench, on how to best optimize it so you're, you're getting useful data.